sun and CO2 to make glucose, the sugar that they use for food. They also put oxygen into the air so we can share because oxygen is everywhere. Welcome to the introduction video for the unique aquatic and terrestrial ecosystems chapter. What we cover in this chapter is a couple of things. First of all, we're going to talk about interactions between different species and animals. So for example, in this case, you have your crocodile, which eats the fish. That's a prey predator relationship. And then we're going to cover the next thing we're also going to cover is stuff like food chains and food webs, which shows those kind of relationships in much more detail. So this was a simplified version, and this here is just showing the actual complexity of your ecosystems. We're also going to cover things like the human impact on the environment and what kind of environments there are in general. So, you know, your aquatic and your terrestrial kind of environments. But also we're going to talk about adaptations and what they are as well. So adaptations gets covered in quite a bit of detail. And this is more or less the content in the videos which are covered in this chapter. And here are the actual videos. So I've got 11 videos. You can see the numbers here which correspond to the number of the videos. What I mean by that is if you have a look at here, this here is the actual, so trends in population here in numbers, one, two, three, four, and it goes all the way down to 11. And that's these numbers here. So one, two, three, four, five. So every syllabus, these are your syllabus dot points. Your syllabus dot points, which are really important. And they get covered in our videos. Every video covers one syllabus dot point. And what I mean by syllabus dot points, are these here. So if you look at the Board of Studies, this is where we have our syllabuses. This is the actual chapter we're covering. Each local aquatic or terrestrial ecosystem is unique. And you can see here the dot points. These are the actual syllabus dot points that get covered in the video. So every school has to cover these and we cover them as well in the videos here. So I hope that will be useful. But yeah, so these 11 videos cover syllabus dot points which you also need to be covering for your school work as well. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.